Welcome to Drill Talks, an immersive series on the groundwater and drilling industry that features innovators, icons, and experts sharing their knowledge to progress our industry. This is episode two with Bob Lolan, a field service engineer with Franklin Electric. Grab your notebook. He's got a lot of great information to share with us today. My name is Bob Lilland, and I'm a field service engineer for Franklin Electric. Well, welcome, Bob. You're no stranger to the water well industry with many years of field experience before joining the Franklin team. Although you have deep family ties into this industry, at what age did you really think, I want to be in this industry for the rest of my life? Uh, that was probably in my mid-20s. Um, you know, I, I had been around this industry for all my life. You know, that's, that's that's all I've known. You know, my grandfather started a company back in the 50s. Um, you know, then my dad took over. And, uh, you know, I, I, what do you do during the summer when you're kids? You know, you go to the dad's shop and you push the broom and all, you know. So I've been doing that forever. Um, you know, and then of course it was just natural, just right out of school, you know, to continue staying into that business, continuing on. Um, and then, you know, I got about, about my mid twenties that, you know, I decided that, you know, that's just probably what I'm going to stay with. You know, this is, this is pretty nice industry. So how did you make the leap from family business to, uh, working for one of the biggest innovative global manufacturers out there? Sure, sure. So I, I worked for family for, geez, about 15 years. And then I purchased uh, another company, another well company out there, a local guy that used to actually work for my dad and my grandfather. Uh, he was ready to retire. So, uh, you know, he came to me and said, hey, why don't you buy me out? And so I purchased his company from him uh, and started my own. Uh, so I did my own company for about 15 years. Uh, so, you know, I was pushing almost 30 years of, you know, out there uh, installing pumps, drilling wells. You know, I was in the field, you know, day in and day out. I didn't sit behind a desk. I, I did both ends of it. Um, so, you know, around 2018, uh, the opportunity came along with Franklin Electric to uh, come on board. And, you know, I realized at that point, you know, I, I've been doing this for quite a while. It's time to shift gears a little bit. And uh, so, yeah, back in 2018 was when I came on board with Franklin. That's awesome. Uh, it's it's hard to get out of this industry once we, we jump into it. There's nothing more wonderful than making water come out of the ground. So as an end user installing pumps, were you an early adopter or more on the side of wait and see how new technology came came out? Right, right. Yeah, you know, as new technology came out, you know, being younger generation back then, I guess you'd say, um, I, I was excited about it. You know, it, it was something different, something new. So, and believe it or not, I, I didn't really have to persuade, you know, my dad to to look at that too. He was very open to new technology as well. So we had both options there, you know, old technology, new technology, they both work. You know, so yeah, I, I've been uh, pushing the new te technology for quite a while. Let's talk about field trials. Like what, what is your goal and how do you get that customer, that ideal customer to say, yeah, I want to try this with you. What is your approach? Uh, so, you know, we go out with new product and we install that with them. We explain them, you know, what our goal is, what we're looking to do. Um, and that allows us to put that in and test that equipment out on site uh, to let that equipment run. And it gives us also the opportunity to go back to the job site and see if, if anything's taken place. We'll look at uh, uh, fault logs, some history logs, and if anything happened, um, get some feedback from the uh, end user on you know, how it's operating for them. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's a good, lot of good data that, that we go there to collect, uh, when we do the field trials. What innovative solutions are you excited about? What's game changing and energy efficient products and technology? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so in today's world, uh, there's a big push for, uh, green energy. It's, it's taken a front seat to everything. I mean, you know, if, if anybody listens to the news, opens up, uh, their computer and starts doing a little bit of reading, man, the, the green energy is just a big, big push right now. Uh, so, you know, in today's market, we see a lot uh, a lot of green energy products being pushed on us. 
Uh, we see, um, uh, shoot, you're going to see a lot of uh, uh, commercials on TV for more efficient air conditioners. Um, we know that hot water heaters are, are, are a big push in the uh, box stores. Um, energy efficient windows is another uh, big one that we see a lot there uh, too. Uh, so there's a lot of, of things being uh, pushed on us for that green energy. Um, another one, Brock, is uh, the solar industry. Geez, that that has just blown up over the last 10 years or so. Um, I don't know how it is in your area, but down here in Florida, man, there is a big push for solar energy. Uh, so, yeah, that's something big there, too. Um, so the water well industry, uh, the water well industry, too, has continued to take steps forward uh, regarding uh, pump efficiency. Um, so, you know, that's something true that uh, Ele uh, Franklin Electric uh, does take into consideration. Uh, we're mind uh, we're mindful uh, that moving water takes tremendous power. Uh, so we need to continue to drive innovation beyond the pump. Uh, we use, uh, uh, today we're using permanent magnet motor technology uh, in complete water systems as one example. Uh, so in an area where you see potential for future energy gains, why not? You know, let, let's let's take that uh, that technology and let's move forward with it. See what we can do to improve uh, and and make things just a little bit greener for everybody. Uh, Franklin Electric uh, has also in, uh, recently introduced uh, the Magforce uh, permanent motor technology as well, um, and that's uh, leading the industry in higher efficiency motor technology. I keep hearing about you know magnet technology, everything that comes out. Can you give us some basic insight? You know, uh, we all pretend like we, when we hear these buzzwords, we're stubborn drillers and we're, we're like, okay, but no, like educate us. Oh yeah, I've been there. <laughs> um, so yeah, a little, little bit about uh, permanent magnet. Um, uh, permanent magnet motors, uh, it, it's a motor just like an induction motor, okay? It, it's not nothing big, different. It, it's the same basic construction as the motors that we've made for years. Um, how, the, the difference is how that motor starts, okay? We don't have to induce it. We don't have to incite that motor uh, because of the permanent magnets that are in there. It, it, it's already creating its own energy. Um, so it's not something to be afraid of. Um, sometimes change, uh, you know, makes us all apprehensive. Definitely not something to be afraid of. Uh, permanent magnet motor is not taking the place of anything, but it's an addition to the product line. What makes Magforce more efficient than the standard motor? Sure. Well, let's let's look at the induction motor first, the motor that we're, we're used to. Um, that motor truly is a 3600 RPM motor, but because we have uh, an inherent slip in that motor, there's a 4% slip in that motor, that's what gives us the 3450 RPM, okay? So the permanent magnet motor, uh, since it is self-exciting uh, with the magnets that are into there, it has no slip. Uh, so that's given us the true 3600 RPM. So with that, we can see increases in, in RPM and in flow and pressure uh, and even motor power. Uh, so the MagForce high efficiency motor allows for an increased overall system performance. Excellent. I'm sold. How do these differences impact the pumping system? Basically, it's going to give you an increased pump performance. Um, it is a, a lighter and a smaller design. And also, you get the benefits of uh, built-in pump protection uh, using that VFD drive. Uh, so, yeah, it, it, it's going to impact it all the way around. This is uh, completely changes the way our systems will be laid out. And um, how else do these pump systems impact, you know, the industry? Sure. Um you get peak performance uh, while using the least amount of energy. Uh, these systems, they achieve the same power rating uh, while performing with the least amount of electricity uh, at any given operational point. Uh, one of the most noticeable dis differences is that the technology enables a smaller, lighter, and more powerful design, okay? Uh, so through increased power density, 
the total assembly is more compact, aiding uh, with the professionals that install that, um, also with transportation. Uh, so a good example of that is let's take our 60 horsepower, six inch induction motor. Uh, those motors are 61 inches in length and they weigh 330 pounds. I'm sure you know, um, you've lifted quite a few motors yourself. You know, that that's pretty heavy. Um, with the uh, permanent magnet motor, the uh, MagForce motor, uh, those things are now 39.8. They're only about 40 inches long. So we're reducing that by about 20, 21 inches in length. So it's a little shorter, okay? But here's the, here's the catch, the weight. It only weighs 156 pounds. That's half the weight. Yeah. Uh, that's big, you know, especially in situations where uh, we're in tight locations or, you know, being able to service and just uh, a whole new generation of, you know, pump handlers and professionals. Absolutely. That's that's a big game changer and a value add. Yeah. What controls this? You know, uh, what is the starter controller? Is it a VFD? I, it's a lot that I need to know about this system. I'm kind of getting pretty excited here. Yeah, so uh, it is a three-phase motor, uh, but because it is uh, synchronous, uh, we cannot use a standard magnetic starter to start that. Uh, we do need a VFD drive to start this motor up. Um it is a four pole motor to where our induction motors are going to be a two pole motor. Uh, and with it being a four pole motor, uh, that motor is going to run at 1800 RPMs at 60 Hertz. Okay. Well, we don't want it to run 1800 RPMs. We're not going to produce a whole lot of water with that, right? We need to get that thing back up to that 3600 RPMs. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to double the Hertz being fed to it, how fast we're feeding that electricity to that motor. So, Instead of running 60 hertz, we now need to run 120 hertz, okay? Uh, so, we, you know, with, with running 120 hertz, we can't do that with a cross-the-line starter. We've got to have a VFD to do that. Um, also, it, it's, it's synchronous. It's got to know uh, where that motor's positioned at when it starts up. Uh, for example, say it, it has to start up at, at 12 o'clock. And if that motor is sitting in there, the, the, the rotor is sitting at 3 o'clock, well, it's got to sync itself and know that, hey, I'm here at three o'clock. I've got to sink back to 12 and start up. And it does that in such a split second. Um, so yeah, you, you do have to have a VFD controller for this. You know, there's 43 million Americans that have private water wells. And uh, as our businesses, we look at all this extra infrastructure money coming out and stuff, we're diversifying. We're looking at versatility. We're looking at where and Everything you're talking about, I can see a lot of versatility in this system. Where are we installing these? What industries outside of just, you know, some homes and whatnot? Uh, some some systems that 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 is good for that uh, would be uh, mining, uh, agricultural, uh, irrigation, uh, you know, like say golf courses. They're using a ton of water on those golf courses. I know here we've got golf courses all over the place. Um, and municipalities. You know, that's great for municipalities. You know, those things are running, you know, 24 seven, you know, those pumps don't shut down. Um, so anytime that they're using large volumes of water, man, this, this system is perfect for that. So this must require a custom drive for different applications, right? No custom drive. It, like I said, it's it's all, you know, current drives that we use today, um, our subdrive connect uh, for our four inch uh, that has just been uh, upgraded in 2020 to be able to handle the permanent magnet. Um, so, you know, contractors are using those day in and day out residential. Um, our subdrive connect plus we've upgraded those, uh, you know, those will go up to a 30 horsepower. Uh, and so, you know, and, and if you've even uh, installed some of those, um, you know, as long as they're, you know, only a couple of years old, newer, we can go out there and, and do a firmware upgrade. And if you have one now, we can make that thing run permanent magnet. 
Um, and also our, our Cirrus X drive, uh, again, industrial drive, large systems, um, you know, we can go up to, you know, like a 300 horsepower permanent magnet motor. Uh, and it's just our standard uh, X drive VFD that you're using. You're not having the special order, anything else extra. You know, really the only thing that's different is the motor and it's just got the permanent magnets embedded into the rotor. That's really the only difference in this. So I'm a pump company. I'm looking at how I bring this on as my, you know, top tier line, the best value add for my customer. We talked about mining and some agriculture and, you know, golf courses. Which applications are ideal? How would you recommend this to your customer? So recommending this to my customers, it, again, it, it's it's the efficiency, it's the benefits that they're going to gain from this. Um, you know, they can, they, they're, not only is it running more efficient, um, it's, you know, less wear and tear on the system because you're using that drive. Uh, you still have the built-in uh, pump protection because you're using that drive as well. So we're taking all those, those benefits uh, with a standard BFD system, but now we're adding this uh, permanent magnet technology, which is going to gain us that extra 4% of, um, uh, of RPM speed. Um, it's going to gain us that extra 4% of flow. Uh, so meaning we're going to get more water out of this system, right? Um we, um, you know, it's going to increase that motor power as well, more pressure. Now, what we can do is, you know, Brock, when you open up your um, uh, your pump catalog and you start looking at uh, spec curves, all your spec curves for all the manufacturers are all at 3,400 RPM, right? We're not going to hardly find anything at 3,600 RPM. OK, so what we can do is we can give them more water or we can back those uh, the maximum hertz back down, decrease that a little bit. Uh, so now we're back at the same curve as a 3400 RPM motor, right? When we lower that, we're now decreasing that RPM. We're decreasing the power consumption. Uh, you know, so what happens when we decrease power? We're not having to pay as much in wattage, right? Now we're looking at the benefit of savings and, and electricity usage as well. So, you know, you, you've got two ways to look at this. I call it the double-edged sword, okay? We can get, you know, higher performance or we can back it back down to what we're used to and we can save some money electricity. And again, you know, I don't want to push that uh, on to uh, the smaller motors because you just don't see a lot of that with the smaller motors, you know, because, you know, it's only costing you what, you know, 10 cents a month to run a, a residential well pump. So that's not something there that we really push. But when you get into the bigger motors, you're talking 100 horsepower. That's a lot of power consumption there. So if we can look for opportunities to save electricity, uh, be a little greener and save a little bit of money on that consumption, uh, that's a win for everybody. You know, that's uh, with the system, they, they could actually get a payback uh, within a year or two with some of these larger pumps there, larger motors. Um, you know, so when, when you're talking two years, I've just paid for that upgrade, you know, just in savings on energy consumption. Uh, now we're going to start chipping away at the cost of the actual material after that. So there's the point where that energy savings will pay for the whole thing down the road. And that's important. I think that's a great point. As uh, we are advocates for the groundwater industry, and again, we have uh, we have simplistic systems often at private homes, but all of our community, our friends, our neighbors, and our family on big municipal water systems, this is a game changer in sustainability, being able to maintain a system, being able to uh, grow an infrastructure where everybody is concerned about what that price per gallon is, what that water bill is. And this is a technology that can absolutely, or is absolutely, doing all our communities better. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. It, it's 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 a win for everybody. You know, it, it's you know when when we can save a little bit, you know, to 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 help the planet. You know, it's just, it's it's going to help everybody in the long run.
So tell me about the high efficiency subdrive quick pack solutions. So the uh, the quick pack solution, uh, what that is, is a it's a package that has the uh, the drive, the pump, and the motor all together inside one box for you. So the contractor doesn't have to piece things out; it can already be sized out for them, and they can go in and and say, "I need you know this quick pack with this horsepower and this uh, pump end already built, ready to go for me." Uh, very simple system, very simple setup, all together for the contractor. Helps make it a little easier for them, uh, you know, not having to carry, you know, several different motors, several different pumps. Um, a nice thing about some of these are um, when you get into the larger motors. Now, now the, the quick pack is for the smaller motors. That's for the four-inch residential motors there, okay? Um, when you get into the bigger motors, uh, you're going to reduce the inventory as well because one size, one motor size uh, will cover three different horsepowers. Uh, so we're now ha not having to carry, you know, a whole selection of horsepowers, you know, having 20 motors on the shelf. We can now have 10 motors on the shelf, for example. And these are powered by the the four inch MagForce high efficiency motor? Yes, the quick packs are the, the four inch high efficiency motor. So it does have that permanent motor uh, technology built into it. Um, those will, uh, at, at later this year, those will uh, come solely as um, uh, a permanent magnet setup uh, when you're using a three phase motor. Okay. Um, so we're going to take the induction three phase out of those quick packs and they will solely be permanent magnets. So they'll all have, you know, a little more efficiency uh, built into that package there. Now that's not getting rid of the three phase motor. We will still have the three phase motor. We just feel that this is going to be a better solution uh, to replace that three phase motor. You know, just like I said, a little, little, little more efficiency uh, for everybody in the long run. So uh, you'll still have the single phase motors available uh, in the quick packs, but uh, soon to be, it'll be strictly, uh, the uh, MagForce high efficiency motor for the three phase motors. Let's talk about, you know, considerations for servicing. What special considerations do I need? What can a new user expect out of the system? Yeah, so uh, there's no, you know, special servicing or anything required to this. It, again, it's it's a three phase motor that that we've all you know come to know that Franklin has uh, manufactured for years um exactly the same as the induction motor uh other than again those permanent magnets put into there uh so therefore uh testing those motors uh servicing those motors are going to be exactly the same as we've always done with the induction motors um as a matter of fact um uh, we've just released the new uh, 2023 uh, Franklin AIM manual. In those AIM manuals, it now has the specs in there for those permanent magnet motors. So you can go in there and you can look for the, you know, what what should my motor run at service factor amps? Uh, how many ohms should should we have between uh, the start windings? Uh, so yes, it, it's. Um, it's exactly the same. You know, there's nothing different. We're going to, we're going to test it uh, exactly like we've always done before. So you're saying I shouldn't keep using my 1997 manual. I should, I should upgrade. Time to upgrade. <laughs> yes. Where, so that, where can I find that? Uh, you can get that uh, at the Franklin electric website. Uh, we do have a um, electronic copy there. Um, I do believe you can uh, request on the website as well a hard copy, and of course you can see your uh, your uh, uh, your local distributor. Uh, they should have them. They're they're just now getting out, so uh, they should have them. If if not, again, go to the website. You can go on there and order that catalog, and we'll send one right directly to you. Um, a lot of us carry them in the trucks, so if you know you happen to call us out on a uh, field site. 
uh, to come help you out with something, I'll have them in the truck with me so I can hand you a hard copy in person too. Excellent. Thank you for all the great knowledge you've shared today. I just got a few more questions for you. First and foremost, in an industry where we all envy tools, and though everything's a hammer and it's not a hammer, or we just need a bigger hammer often, mm -hmm. starting out, then uh, owning your own business outside of the family, and then going on to Franklin, what does your toolbox look like today versus what the first one looked like? Give us your life hacks. I want to I want to know what we should have in there that we're going, ah, why didn't I think of this? Yeah, yeah. You know, just kind of a little on the side note, you know, whenever I, I came on board with Franklin, um, I did sell my company. Uh, but you know what? I kept all my tools. I, I, I was not letting all my tools go. I just I couldn't do it. You know, you know how we, we, we keep a bin with uh, all of our pipe wrenches and whatnot. Well, you know those pipe wrenches that I have belong to my grandfather. And I'm like, I'm not letting them go. You know, I've still got every one of my tools, <laughs> but um, what's, what's different about today, what it has been in the past. There's nothing a whole lot different. You're using the same tools that you've always used. You know, you're using those screwdrivers and whatnot, still have all those, um, your multimeters, uh, uh, your own meters, you know, you want to still have all that stuff available to you, amp meters, um, probably the one biggest thing that, uh, that I have learned over the, the few years with Franklin, um, is, uh, a, a mega ohmmeter. Uh, a lot of guys just don't, uh, they don't feel the need for it, but it is such a useful tool and it's no more expensive than what you would buy your standard meters for anyways. Uh, they used to be real expensive back in the day, but those things have really come down in price. Um, and, and the knowledge that you can get from that meter, reading the proper ohms, uh, when you're when you're owning out a, a motor, a standard multimeter is not going to read into the millions of ohms that's required when you're testing these out. Um, just for an example, you know, I went to a job site. And I was the fifth contractor on this job site. No one could figure out what the problem was. I was the fifth contractor and I couldn't figure it out either. You know, I called the Franklin Electric hotline to get them to help me figure out what was going on there. And they said, well, let's pull out your mega ohm meter. And I'm like, I don't have one. Very common. Nobody has it, right? So I told, uh, matter of fact, it was uh, Bob Johnson, still with us today. Um, I says, Bob, I says, give me an hour. Let me run up to the uh, parts store. I know they have them there. Let me go get one and come back, right? So I came back, got Bob on the phone. He walked me through on how to use this meter. Come to find out, it's exactly the same as a standard ohm meter. It just reads higher. You know, nothing to be scared about. It's the same thing, just reads a higher number, right? Well, we found the short in the line that nobody else could find because we had the proper tool. So mega ohm meter, man. Everybody, if you can, if you can get that on your truck, one of the most useful tools you can have uh in your tool bag there. Um, also, uh, again, we got our new aim manual that's out. Uh, we have our aim app. Our AIM app, you can have that on your smartphone, your smart device. Everybody's carrying that, you know, our, our iPhones and whatnot with us. You can have that app on your phone uh, handy as well. Uh, we have um, uh, our FE Connect app. Uh, we use that Connect app uh, whenever we want to connect to the drives uh, to help uh, with setting up, programming these drives, um, uh, to help service those drives. We can see fault logs and whatnot with that. Um, we can actually access documentation with this Connect app uh, as far as the manual. If you don't have the manual with you and you go back out to the job site to service it, I can go right to there and, and, and it'll connect right to that uh, uh, manual for me. And also it will connect to uh, our technical support hotline for you. There's a button on there. Hey, I just can't figure this out push the button and it'll call right for you and get those guys on the phone. 
Uh, we also have uh, uh, franklintechonline.com. It's a website for uh, training on demand uh, for Franklin products and solutions. Uh, so you can go to this website and you can watch videos on demand. You know, you can, you can watch them multiple times if you want to. Uh, if you want to know how to install a certain model of drive, there it is. I mean, it, there's and there's more than just drives on there. Um, you can go on there and look how to um, test your uh, motors with meters. Uh, you can find out a little bit about solar. You can get into some of our other products like Pioneer uh, and Little Giant on that uh, website as well. But one of the benefits I, that I love about the website being training on demand is uh, as a uh, owner of a company, you bring in new hires. And we know that there's not a whole lot of education schools out there for our industry, right? So you can actually set your new hires down behind the computer for a couple hours a day. And they can go right there and, and learn training right online. And there's no charge for that. Um, and then, of course, Brock, our technical support hotline. That's what Franklin's known for. We, we've had that for just, like I said, decades uh, that should be in your tool bag. That that should be a number that's automatically programmed into your phone, ready to go. So that that's always there available to you as well. That's excellent. And it's a, it's an absolute testament to being able to call the technical service line. And, uh, you know, as things get troubleshooting, uh, you guys all share knowledge and stories or go, you know what? I, I haven't heard about, something quite like this, but, you know, I think, uh, Jeff has over here, you know, that, and, uh, I love that community aspect of the support from Franklin and that's, uh, growing up installing these from when they were just motors to, uh, entire, you know, pump systems. So I have one last question for you. Where do we go from here? Energy efficiency, you're making things smaller. You're giving us the tools to be more technically smart. Where do you see the next steps? You know, Brock, don't, and, and please don't quote me on this because I'm not the guys back there uh, making the products. But, um, you know, it, in in my opinion, with the way things are going, you know, smart pumping systems, uh, systems that'll, that's going to give you real-time data, real-time monitoring uh, via your 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 home computer or your your smartphone, something that you can log into, uh, something that may even uh, send you uh, messages of of uh, pre preventative maintenance. Right, um, our cars today, our cars, uh, you know, they'll they'll let us know when there's a door that's not closed, but they'll also tell you which door is not closed. You know, they'll tell you which corner of your car that the light bulb is out on. Uh, that it's time to change your oils, you know, so the technology is there. Maybe it comes into our industry as well. You know, why not into our pumping systems? Um, you know, I know that uh, uh, there's like uh, uh, HVAC systems where they can control HVACs. Uh, I've got a friend, personal friend that runs Tropicana Field for the uh, the HVAC air conditioning, and he sits at home and operates that system. So, you know, why not? That, that, I think that would be a great idea. Um, turnkey systems, something that 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 would help uh, uh, the contractor with the installation. Very very simple to install program and and get up and running. Um, so yeah, those those are just a few that I think is is you know possibly a good direction, you know, uh, of the uh, pumping industry. Awesome! You have a lot of fun working at Franklin. Absolutely, I. I I'll tell anybody this is this is you know the best job I've ever had. Um, uh, you know the people that I work for, you know, phenomenal. Um, this has absolutely been amazing, and 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 definitely I'm I'm truly blessed uh, to be working for Franklin Electric. Excellent. Thank you for your time today, Bob. Absolutely. Thank you, Brock. Thank you for joining our drill talk. If you'd like to know more about our guests please click on their logo and go to their website. To find more Drill Talks, go to thedriller.com. Please subscribe there for unlimited access to this series, the latest news impacting the drilling and water industry, original columns from drilling professionals like you, and so much more. Drilling into topics that matter most to you 
is what compels us at thedriller.com to go deeper. Thanks again.